students this is sunita mishra so we are studying the chapter tissues in that we studied the topic simple permanent tissue and in that we studied parenchyma cholenchyma and sclerenchyma so today we are going to learn about complex permanent tissue so complex permanent tissue which are made up of more than one type of simple permanent cells and that coordinate to form a common function of okay then complex tissue what is the function of the complex tissue that they transport the water mineral salt and food material to various parts of the body okay and uh, we know from very beginning of our class that uh, the two complex tissues that is the xylem and phloem and these come in the they are also known as the conducting tissue why they are known as conducting tissue because they are conducting the water minerals to leaf and then the prepared food to all parts of the plant xylem will transport the water minerals to the leaf and the phloem will transport the food to all parts of the plant so today i am going to tell you about the xylem so xylem consists of the four parts these are tracheids vessels xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers or sclerenchyma so first what is a tracheids so tracheids structure is that it it is elongated and it cells with the tapering ends that means the ends of the tracheids are elongated they are pointed towards the uh, at, at both the corners okay then what is the function of the tracheids that make it gives the mechanical support and then it conducts the water and minerals then the next part of the xylem is vessels so what are vessels the vessel structure is that it is a long tube like thick lignified having cell wall that means tube like structure but the cell wall is having the lignin then dead cells these are not living then function what's its function the functions of the vessel is that it gives a mechanical support and conducts water minerals and salt then comes to xylem parenchyma now parenchyma they are living tissues living cells and what is the function of the xylem parenchyma that is stores food and helps in the conduction of the water and minerals then the last part of the xylem is xylem fiber or sclerenchyma what is structure it is thick wall sclerenchyma sclerenchyma it is tissues and what's its function it again gives a mechanical support to the plant so these are all the four structure of the xylem and what are they tracheids vessels xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers okay so up today up to this i will tell you about the flowing in my next class